In today's video, we're going to be perfecting your A, B, grip to C. Stay tuned. Well, hello, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, commenting down below with any thoughts you have, and sharing this with any pipers you think might get some value out of it. Now, on with the video. The grip from B to C and almost always preceded by an A. It can be a rather tricky thing to wrap your fingers around and get really clean. And it starts, I don't know, like half of all the beginner marches that we learn. I mean, Rowan Tree, Green Hills of Tyrol, Wearing of the Green, Battles Over, Balmoral. It, the list goes on and on and on. It's part of a lot of other tunes as well. So it's something we should get nice and clean. So today... I'm going to talk about some exercises I came up with that can help you build your low A, B, grip to C a step at a time to make sure that it's nice and clean. The PDF you see right here, it's in the description below, a downloadable link to the PDF so you can print it out and play along with it. And we're also going to be throwing in some additional footage here in a second of this broken down digitally so you can really see exactly how long and short everything is here. So this is the first time I'm bringing that in. We're going to see how it works. So the first thing I want to talk about on this exercise sheet is if you take a look, you'll see that I have some B grace notes written with quarter notes rather than the normal three flag 30 second note. On the sheet, I discuss why I want to treat the Bs in this exercise more like loose grace notes than real notes. One of the big problems folks have when they learn this embellishment or they're in the process of learning this cadence because there's more than just the embellishment involved, is people tend to camp out on that B thinking about what they need to do to get that grip to C, and that's not really going to work for us too well. We don't want... That's not useful, it's not good, it doesn't have the right feel. But thinking about that B more like a grace note can be helpful, because remember, a grip comes before the beat. It kind of ends on the beat. We'll talk about this in a little bit more detail when we get to the full speed exercises at the bottom, but especially as we're building up slowly, you want to think of the two low G's coming before the beat. A, B, G, G, C, A, B, G, G, C. So you can see the B, not very long. So it can be helpful to think about it more like a loose grace note than a real note. All right, to practice along with this, I have the metronome set at 70. It's a nice, slow speed. We really want to make sure that we're getting everything good and clean. So for line one, you'll notice that I don't have two low Gs. I just have one low G. The first thing I want to make sure we have clean is the motion to and from that G. So we're coming from a B. I want to make sure we're getting down to that low G, nice and clean, no little run on the way down. And again, on the way from C back up to G, that we're doing it the same way, getting nice and clean and not a run through these fingers. So we'll be building it into a grip soon enough. But in line one, we're going to keep just one low G and keep it clean. So this is Apple's logic, and I'm using it to manipulate this MIDI information that's on the screen. So if you take a look, you can see the tiny little green blip at the very top is the G grace note coming in on the A, and then the nice long goldish note is the uh, low A, and then we have the B there going to the low G. And you can see here that the length of that B is quite a bit shorter than the low G, which is why I like thinking about it like a grace note, kind of a relaxed grace note. You can tell that it's much longer than the G grace note at the top, but that the low G that follows it is quite a bit longer. And then finally up to that C. Now you're gonna hear the digital file and you're gonna see the piano roll scrolling along so you can see exactly how long and short all of these notes are. Now for line two, we are now going to take the same amount of time we spent on G, but we're going to divide it into two. So it's going to start sounding more like a grip. So the eighth note G in bars one, two, and four are going to become two sixteenth note Gs. 
and in bar three, where it speeds up, it's gonna be two 30 second note Gs. It's gonna start sounding a little bit more like a grip now. All right, to note, now we have two low Gs instead of one, but they're taking the same amount of time as they did in line one. So you can see here that each of the low Gs is still longer than that B, at least at this speed. So again, why I'm treating that B like a loose extended grace note. It's more similar to the low Gs in a grip than an actual note because of where we subtract our time from for the grip. Now for line three, we're going to hold that A out longer now. We're going to start really trying to get the two low Gs nice and small. Nice and that bra kind of sound that you're gonna get out of a really good grip. Don't move on to this line though until you can do line two really, really well, really reliably. That you're good, clean down from G up to G and that you're getting a nice chirpy small D grace note separating all that. For line three, as we look at this piano roll here, I want to point out in particular the third bar or measure and where the two low Gs fall. So you can see here, finally, we have the B leading up to the grip being slightly longer than either low G. But I also want you to look, if you can see, the lines are fairly faint here, but for it to sound correct to at least my ears, I noticed that to get a good bow da bra, that the grip was actually moved over just a little bit and that the second low G is actually borrowing from the C and not the B before it. I don't think that's useful to try to practice slowly. I, I worked through it a number of times and it seemed to be counterproductive, but I do want to point out that we actually do give the B just a little bit more time because we're actually shifting the whole grip over and you'll hear it as it goes and it sounds quite lovely and it sounds like it's supposed to in the music. Wanted to point that out to you guys. And there you go. You can see that in bar three, I actually have it written out the way you're going to see it in the music with the G grace note two, the A, the B now written as an actual 16th note and a real grip. I think that's going to wrap us up today for this particular exercise, low A, B, grip to C. It's crazy common, shows up everywhere, and it's worth playing well. So hopefully this will uh, be of some value to you. And if it is, please think about liking the video, comment below with your thoughts and whatever you might be doing to make sure that your grips between B and C are nice and clean. And maybe even consider heading over to my Patreon where a small monthly donation can go a really long way to helping me make videos like this one. All right, guys, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and until next time, cheers. <laughs>